So there it is. The shoe comes in a minimalist plain white box with common projects inscripted on top of it. Inside the box, you have your extra laces, dust bag with the shoes wrapped in tissue paper. From the lateral side, you can see the shoes uppers composed of white smooth leather glued and stitched to a margum rubber sole. The shoe also features single and double stitching with two perforations around the quarter of the shoe and the brand's iconic gold foil stamp on the side of the heel. The medial side of the shoe looks pretty much the same as the lateral side but without the two perforations and the gold foil branding. The top of the shoe details the creative perforations, single and double tonal stitching, lays up front fastening over a slightly padded tongue. The inner lining features suede and branded leather insole. The back of the shoe shows single tonal stitching over the heel tab and sides of the gold foil stem. Now let's take a closer look at the gold foil branding. It is Common Project's way of showcasing the style, size, and the color of the shoe. And this is a good time as any to point out that Common Projects generally fit large to size. So if you're considering one of these, I will recommend that you take one size smaller than normal to have a good fit. My usual size is UK9, which translates to EU43, but as you can see, I picked EU42, which is UK size 8, to have a better fit. The outsole of the shoe features wave-like pattern for improved traction. Common Project's white sneakers are priced between 280 to 365 pounds. This particular model of the B-Ball Low is part of the brand's Spring Summer 2020 collection and retails at the higher end of the price bracket. I believe a pair of white sneakers should be a staple in any gentleman's wardrobe, so at this point, Tell me about one that you currently like or own in the comment section below. Now as to whether the price point of the shoe is worth it, only time will tell in terms of durability but so far looking at the leather quality, the, the tonal stitching, the, the gold foil branding, the outsole, it's, it looks well made. It looks well made and so I like it. Now let's look at the shoes on feet and how I styled it. I went for a dark green corduroy pants by Officine General. I wore no socks to team up with the B-Ball Lows. I chose this color because I believe it creates a very good contrast with the colors of the shoe. And also showing ankles is a good way of letting your skin create contrast between the pants you're wearing, your skin, and the shoe you're wearing which is in this case the b-ball lows the only problem though is you're gonna have to do a lot of moisturizing because you don't want to show ashy ankles So what else did I wear to complete outfit number one? Let's take a look. I picked a brown Ami by Alexander Matuisi Harrington jacket, styled with a white t-shirt tacked in to reveal the belt buckle that comes with the corduroy pants. Now when this guy has finished turning around, we will take a look at the outfit in full on my runway.
here's a look at the second outfit with this one i went for a wash denim jacket by simon miller started with a white t-shirt still tucked in and accessorized with a pocket square the look is inspired by a formal one but you can still put it off in a smart casual way to add a little bit of le je ne sais quoi to your ensemble What he's trying to say with the weird hand gestures is that I always button up the first two of the jacket, leaving the rest undone. What that does is that it allows the jacket to be a little bit more figure hugging, accentuating your posture and physique. So pretty much pop that chest straight back, areas around your shoulder, allowing the confident gentleman that you are to shine through. Now let's take a look at outfit number two. What is he doing? Okay, fast forward. That's all I have for you gentlemen, thanks for staying with me and if you're new to the channel as usual please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're advised when I have new content out. On to my next video, I'll be in tour gentlemen.